Electrification in various forms is accelerating in road transport, but Hino's been at it for years with its light duty 300 series Hino Hybrid, which first went on sale here back in 2007. Hino claims that its hybrid models can significantly reduce operational costs and fuel economy is a big part of that equation. So we're pitting the new Hino Hybrid 616 Trade Ace against its regular diesel equivalent to see how the numbers stack up. Let's get into it. As a Toyota subsidiary, Hino knows a thing or two about hybrid powertrains. In fact, the battery tech in this truck is already found in over 15 million vehicles worldwide. Hino Australia says interest in its hybrid range is gaining pace here too, and in fact it's on track to crack 1,000 vehicles on Aussie roads in the not too distant future. We wanted to see what Hino's hybrid is like to drive compared to a traditional truck, and most importantly, find out how its fuel consumption compares. To do so, we're pitting the brand new Hino 300 series 616 hybrid trade ace, the latest of Hino's built to go range of pre-bodied trucks, against the regular 616 trade ace, with both in a wide cab format and with a 3.4 metre wheelbase. We'll be driving both in and around Melbourne over a couple of days, making multiple stops and swapping regularly to account for our individual driving styles. Both have a tonne of sand in the tray and we'll be using the data gleaned from Hino's Connect telematic system. But before we get underway, let's take a quick look at how these two quite similar trucks differ. Save for the hybrid badging and blue trim on the grille externally, they're nearly identical. Except the hybrid's power control unit, which houses the nickel metal hydride battery, hybrid ECU and inverter. But the hybrid now scores a Euro 6 engine with 6-speed automated manual transmission, while the standard truck has a Euro 5 engine with 6-speed full auto. While the two trucks share a common architecture and construction, the battery, electric motor and other associated gear does mean the hybrid has a marginally lower payload. All Hino hybrids have the same four-cylinder turbo diesel, which is assisted by a battery-powered electric motor. The battery is charged by capturing kinetic energy from the truck's engine during deceleration when the electric motor is effectively turned into a generator. No plug-in or recharging is required. The electric motor is there to assist when moving off and when the truck is under acceleration, but otherwise the diesel operates as normal. OK, it all sounds great in theory, now let's put it to the test. To start, I'm jumping in the hybrid and Mido is grabbing the regular truck. Behind the wheel of the hybrid, there's very little tangible difference between the two trucks, save for the small battery display on the dash and of course the automated manual transmission. The AMT is tweaked to suit the hybrid driveline. It short shifts to get into as high a gear as possible as early as possible, all helping to minimise fuel consumption. And there's an eco mode too, which further adjusts shift points and which allows the truck to move off entirely on the electric motor if there's sufficient charge. Back in the diesel truck, it's business as usual. With probably the main difference being it's a little bit smoother due to the full automatic transmission as opposed to the automated manual in the hybrid. There's the ever-present rumble of the turbo diesel and the six-speed auto makes life easy. The uninterrupted torque delivery also helps it get away a little faster from a standing start. OK, time to swap to gauge the difference. Here we are in the standard truck and for all intents and purposes, from here behind the wheel the cab looks identical. It's perhaps a touch noisier than the hybrid but there's not a whole lot in it. The biggest change then remains the automatic transmission. The auto in this truck, you can just jump straight in and drive, you don't have to think about it. There's no interruption in the torque as you're accelerating and it does accelerate a little bit more sprightly than the hybrid. But then again, it's not, uh, it's not about being a rocket ship, it's about returning some tangible 
cost savings, and that's where the hybrid's going to have the edge. Both of these vehicles feature a full complement of safety features as standard. That includes airbags for the passenger and driver, autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning, stability control, and four-wheel disc brakes. In fact, these Hinos are one of the safest small trucks on the market. So, how did they go? After around 300 kilometres of city and motorway driving, and based on the Hino Connect telematics data, the hybrid returned a very healthy 12.03 litres per 100 kilometres, 29.3% difference. But while the economy improvement is crucial, there's more to think about when considering a Hino hybrid. This hybrid costs around $16,000 more than the standard model, and it does have a slightly lower payload limit. Hino also says its servicing costs are a bit less than that of a standard truck, while the 20,000 km service intervals are the same. The payback period to recoup that price premium will of course be determined by annual mileage, fuel price and usage. But if your business leases a hybrid, as many do, operators can reap the rewards from day one. Driving Hino's 300 Series 616 Hybrid Trade Ace is just as easy and fuss free as driving the regular model. It's nimble, it's capable and it's right at home in city traffic. And for businesses looking to drive down their emissions and their fuel bills while being seen as a good corporate citizen, the Hino Hybrid delivers positive results in the here and now and it's all backed by proven technology.